हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वीकली करंट अफेयर क्विज लेट्स बिगिन टुडे क्विज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिसेंटली एक्सरसाइज सूर्य किरण वाज हेल्ड बिटवीन इंडिया एंड नेपाल एट उत्तराखंड इंडिया हिमाचल प्रदेश इंडिया राजस्थान इंडिया और साल झंडी नेपाल द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी साल झंडी नेपाल रिसेंटली अ ज्वाइंट ट्रेनिंग एक्सरसाइज सूर्य किरण सिक्सटीन बिगैन बिटवीन इंडिया एंड नेपाल From 16 to 29 December 2022, this exercise is being conducted at Nepal Army Battle School, Sal Jhandi, Nepal. 15th India-Nepal Military Training Exercise Surya Kiran took place in Pithodagar, Uttarakhand. Next question is: Consider the following statements regarding GI tags. One, overall India has 234 GI tags. Two, Gamosa of Assam recently got GI tag. Which of the above statement or statements is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option B, two only. The Union Government has granted the geographical indication or GI tag to nine products from across the country. With this, the total number of registered GI products in India stands at four thirty-two. Gamosa of Assam is one of them, which is a traditional textile. Having great significance for the people of Assam. Next question is: NASA launched its Surface Water and Ocean Topography or SWOT satellite mission to map water on which of the following: Mars, Jupiter, Earth, or Moon? The correct answer is option C, Earth. NASA launched its SWOT satellite mission, that is, Surface Water and Ocean Topography satellite mission. The rocket used for the launch is the SpaceX Falcon 9. The SWAT satellite aims to map Earth's water in unprecedented detail to help manage climate change. Next question is Vijay Divas is celebrated on December 16 every year to honor the victory of Indian armed forces during which of the following wars? Sri Lanka war, Pakistan war of 1971, Pakistan war of 1965 or none of the above. The correct answer is option B, Pakistan war of 1971. Vijay Divas is celebrated on December 16 every year to honor the victory of Indian armed forces over Pakistan in the 1971 war. On December 16, 1971, India had won the war against Pakistan after fighting for 13 days. Next question is which of the following organization launched youth co lab initiative in partnership with atal innovation mission niti aayog UNDP World Bank World Intellectual Property Organization or UNESCO the correct answer is option A UNDP recently niti aayog's atal innovation mission or AIM and UNDP India launched the 5th edition of youth co lab Youth Collab is an initiative launched by UNDP India in partnership with Atal Innovation Mission Niti Aayog. Next question is global analysis and assessment of sanitation and drinking water that is GLAAS 2022 report is published by which of the following World Bank UN Water Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation or Global Health Council The correct answer is option B UN Water Recently the UN Water Global Analysis and Assessment of Sanitation and Drinking Water that is GLAAS 2022 report has been released. This report compiles new data on drinking water sanitation and hygiene that is wash from 121 countries and territories and 23 external support agencies or ESAs. Next question is which of the following statement is correct regarding GST council it is a statutory body it is an executive body it is a constitutional body or none of the above the correct answer is option C it is a constitutional body in order to implement GST the constitutional 122nd amendment bill that is CAB was introduced in parliament It was passed by Rajya Sabha on 3rd August 2016 and Lok Sabha on 8th August 2016. Since then the GST council has been notified bringing into existence the constitutional body to decide issues relating to GST. Next question is International Migrants Day was started in which year? 1990, 1999, 2000 or 2020? The correct answer is option C 2000. Every year on 18th December the world marks International Migrants Day. 
This year International Migrants Day falls shortly after the first ever world report on the health of refugees and migrants. On 4 December 2000, the General Assembly proclaimed 18 December as International Migrants Day. Next question is consider the following statements regarding Justice Muhammad Hidayatullah. He held the position as 1 first Chief Justice of India, 2 Vice President of India, 3 Acting President of India. Which of the above statement or statements is or are correct? 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only or 1 and 2 and 3. The correct answer is option B, 2 and 3 only. Born in Betul Madhya Pradesh on December 17th, 1905, Justice Muhammad Hidayatullah was the 11th Chief Justice of India. M Hidayatullah is the only Indian citizen in independent India to have held the positions of Chief Justice of India, Vice President of India and Acting President of India. Next question is which of the following won the FIFA World Cup 2018? Argentina, Brazil, Croatia or France? The correct answer is option D, France. Argentina defeated defending champion France in the FIFA World Cup final 2022 on 18 December. Lionel Messi crowned his record breaking career by winning football's biggest prize for the first time on his farewell to the tournament. 2018 World Cup was held in Russia and France took home the trophy. Next question is which of the following contains the world's largest collection of coral reefs? Red Sea coral reef, the Great Barrier Reef, Lakshadweep coral reef or Gulf of Mannar coral reef the correct answer is option B the great barrier reef recently scientists working in australia have successfully tried a new method for freezing and storing coral larvae the great barrier reef contains the world largest collection of coral reefs with 400 types of coral 1500 species of fish and 4000 types of mollusks next question is which of the following organization observes International Human Solidarity Day United Nations General Assembly International Court of Justice International Human Rights Council or International Refugee Organization The correct answer is option A United Nations General Assembly International Human Solidarity Day is observed globally on 20 December every year Solidarity is identified in the Millennium Declaration as one of the fundamental values of international relations in the 21st century On December 22, 2005, the UN General Assembly proclaimed that International Solidarity Day would take place on December 20 each year. Next question is which of the following pair or pairs is or are correctly matched? 1. Taj Chhapar Black Buck Century Rajasthan, 2. Sultanpur Bird Century Uttar Pradesh, 3. Gir Wildlife Century Gujarat. Options are 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only or 1 2 and 3. The correct answer is option C, one and three only. The famous Taj Chhapar Black Buck Century in Rajasthan has received a protective cover. Gir Wildlife Century and Sultanpur Bird Century are located in Gujarat and Haryana, respectively. Next question is: Kakori robbery was carried out by revolutionaries of which organization? Anushilan, Gadar Party, Abhinav Bharat, or Hindustan Republican Association? The correct answer is option D. Hindustan Republican Association India remembered the 1925 Kakori train action and its young revolutionary leaders the train robbery at Kakori was the HRA's first major action in August 1925 HRA that is Hindustan Republican Association was a revolutionary organization which was set up in 1923 next question is recently discovered two alien planets kepler 138c and kepler 138d are situated in which constellation lynx altar lyra or hydra the correct answer is option c lyra recently two alien planets have been discovered about 218 light years away from the earth The newly discovered exoplanets are Kepler 138c and Kepler 138d. They are situated in a planetary system 218 light years away in the constellation Lyra. Next question is recently launched Grihi Pravesh program is being implemented by which of the following ministry? Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, Ministry of Panchayati Raj, Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation or Ministry of Minority Affairs. The correct answer is option A Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Recently PM Modi launched the Grihi Pravesh program in Agartala. 
द प्रोग्राम हैज बिन लॉन्च फॉर बेनिफिशियरीज अंडर द प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना अर्बन एंड रूरल स्कीम्स इट इज बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग स्वदेश दर्शन टू पॉइंट ओ स्कीम वन इट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट सेंट्रली फंडेड टू इट इज लॉन्च बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड कल्चर विच ऑफ द अब स्टेटमेंट और स्टेटमेंट इज और आर करेक्ट वन ओनली टू ओनली बोथ वन एंड टू और नीदर वन नॉर टू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी बोथ वन एंड टू स्वदेश दर्शन स्कीम इज अ सेंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम लॉन्च इन ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड कल्चर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया फॉर द इंटीग्रेटेड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ थीम बेस्ड टूरिस्ट सर्किट्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग श्योरिटी बॉन्ड इंश्योरेंस वन इट इज रिसेंटली लॉन्च फॉर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट्स टू इट रिक्वायर्स कोलेट्रल विच ऑफ द अब स्टेटमेंट और स्टेटमेंट इज और आर करेक्ट वन ओनली टू ओनली बोथ वन एंड टू और नीदर वन नॉर टू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए वन ओनली यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड हाईवेज श्री नितिन गडकरी लॉन्च वन ऑफ इंडिया फर्स्ट एवर श्योरिटी बॉन्ड इंश्योरेंस प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम बजाज अलायंस श्योरिटी बॉन्ड इंश्योरेंस विल एक्ट एज अ सिक्योरिटी अरेंजमेंट फॉर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट एंड विल इंसुलेट द कॉन्ट्रैक्टर एज वेल एज द प्रिंसिपल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द फिफ्थ सबमरीन ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट सेवेंटी फाइव इंडिया आई एन एस वागीर इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय गार्डन रीच शिप बिल्डर्स एंड इंजीनियर्स लिमिटेड मजगांव डॉक शिप बिल्डर्स लिमिटेड गोवा शिप यार्ड लिमिटेड और कोचीन शिप यार्ड लिमिटेड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी मजगांव डॉक शिप बिल्डर्स लिमिटेड रिसेंटली आ स्कॉर्पीन क्लास कन्वेंशन सबमरीन वागीर वॉज डिलीवर्ड टू द इंडियन नेवी इट इज द फिफ्थ सबमरीन ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट सेवेंटी फाइव इंडिया दीज सबमरीन आर बींग कंस्ट्रक्टेड एट मजगांव डॉक शिप बिल्डर्स लिमिटेड और एम डी एल मुंबई अंडर कोलेबोरेशन विद एम एस नेवल ग्रुप फ्रांस लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज सशस्त्र सीमा बल वॉज एस्टेब्लिश इन विच ईयर नाइनटीन फोर्टी थ्री नाइनटीन फिफ्टी थ्री नाइनटीन सिक्सटी थ्री नाइनटीन सिक्सटी थ्री और नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी नाइनटीन सिक्सटी थ्री सशस्त्र सीमा बल वॉज एस्टेब्लिश एज स्पेशल सर्विस ब्यूरो इन मे नाइनटीन सिक्सटी थ्री इन द आफ्टर मैथ ऑफ द चाइनीज एग्रेशन इन नाइनटीन सशस्त्र सीमा बल केम अंडर एजीज ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स इन जनवरी 2001. सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे स्टेट यून फॉर द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड 